Hello, good morning. Welcome to Idol World. I'm Hayley. It's great to have your company. You're joining us for one of my favourite shows of the week. It is the Planet Cruise TV show. And wow, have we got some cruises for you. We've got an amazing river cruise. We've got some of the best sellers. We've got some incredible deals. So you do need to stay with us for the full hour. And you know, if you are booking with Planet Cruise, they can make that that cruise bespoke to you. So if you want to add on a stay, if you want to sort out excursions before you go, do jot down the phone number and the website. It's different to our normal number, but contact them because honestly, they will tell you exactly what to do, where to go, find you the perfect cruise every single time. But I'm not alone. We are cruising and I'm cruising alongside Justin. Hey, Hello, you, lovely. How are you? Yeah, great to be here again. Always great to have your company. It's lovely because you're very much like my other half. Your life has very Am much I? been... <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's <laughs> new to me. <laughs> right, I shall just go. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's a true... You, you know what I mean, <laughs> because you're very... It's like his background, because you have yeah. spent so many years on, on board ships. And, you know, and that's the great thing. With Planet Cruise, there's so many people that have worked at sea. So you're not just speaking to a travel agent. You're speaking to one of the number one agents for a lot of the cruise lines that we're going to be talking about today. And, you know, when you go into their offices, you'll see a tours manager that used to be with P&O over, P over one side. You'll see a cruise director. You see all of these people that are experts in their field. And that's the great thing. That's when when you ring up, they are the right people to talk to because they know yeah. where you're going. They've been to those places. They've been on board those ships, which is quite incredible. So for anybody at home, I mean, award-winning agents, why yeah. should we book with Planet Cruise? Well, we're here live in your living room. And again, via Ideal World, we are the biggest uh, cruise TV show uh, in the UK. So this Fabulous. is the great thing that we are bringing those brochures to life. If you go to our website as well, planetcruise.co.uk, uh, the content on that is fantastic as well. You can see all of the other offices that we've got, including the TV deals as well. Uh, I mean, apart from that, of course, you're, you're backed by Atoll and ABTA as well. Um, and uh, the feedback from customers, 96% customer satisfaction. That is that Remarkable. says, that says yeah. it all. And honestly, I can't wait for my cruise, which is in August. And I booked through Planet Cruise and they looked after me amazingly. And they didn't know, didn't know who I was. I phoned up just as a regular customer. They didn't know I did Planet Cruise on Ideal World and the service is out of this world. So do make sure you get onto those phones or jump onto the website. But we need to start at the beginning, our cruise number one. And it is Holland and America. Now we have got a fabulous seven night cruise coming up you really have got a great deal on this too and for anybody that hasn't actually sailed with Holland America before tell us a little bit about them um, they're fantastic ships you know we're talking five star ships and they're all themed particularly the Ryan down that you're going to be on on this cruise um, it's a themed ship around Dutch exploration um, so you've got that you know that history of the cruise line including it fantastic ship fantastic facilities and as you can see there I was actually alongside uh, one of the uh, Holland America ships when she was being built uh, in Venice, uh, wow. and you see the ships and the differences between them. Absolutely superb. I mean, look at that stunning atrium. You can no, imagine on a formal night walking around there. The food selection is fantastic. The the wine selection is fantastic. Uh, and again, we're talking five star cruising with Holland America. But this deal is a best seller. It is absolutely flying for uh, for Planet Cruise because it's an exclusive price as well. We're talking sixty nine pounds per night per person. Book this one early before the wow. cabins have run out. That's all I'm going to say. That is incredible. And when you see where you are going to be going on this fabulous ship as well, it is going to be an absolute beauty. It is going to absolutely fly. You've got two dates, but at £69 per person per night. Better it's than half price. You to get a hotel here in Peterborough for that. Yeah. And you wouldn't get... You'd only get accommodation. You wouldn't get possibly even breakfast. You definitely wouldn't get You get, get all of your dinner. food, your entertainment. You get this wonderful ship as well. Um, and and the, the, the attention to detail. Well, you know, all cruise lines are fantastic. But Holland America really are known for their quality. Better than half price and an exclusive reduction as well for us with Planet Cruise. So please grab this whilst it's available. But let's have a little look where we're going because this is even more exciting because this is going to be beautiful. It's a no-fly. Yeah, and this is a great thing, whether it's Southampton, whether it's Tilbury or Harwich, as you're actually leaving from on this particular one, um, you don't have to worry uh, about your luggage. You can just pack up as much as you want yes. and off you go. Now, the seven days that you're going to be on board, she's a 56,000 tonne ship, so she's a medium-sized ship, not like some of the, the sort of giants that you see from some of the other cruise lines. So a really nice 
uh, cosy and intimate feel on board. Um, we're going to uh, Bergen first of all. This is one of my favourite Norwegian ports. Uh, of course, the great thing about this deal is you're on board a ship that is going to be fantastic value in a country where things are quite expensive. So when you go into Bergen, the food and drink tends to be expensive. You've got that all on board the ship. Brilliant. But look at the scenery that you've got here. Go up into the mountains, you've got the Funicular Railway. Of course, you've got this lovely harbour side. There's a great fish market here as well um, weekly. But you can go up and into the mountains. You can see it just up in the background there. Um, all I'd say is or go on an organised walking tour. I decided, um, against my wisdom, to, to go out there on my own, and I got lost. And that was one of the only times I nearly didn't make it back to the ship oh, at night. Oh, gosh. So, so, of course, uh, those tours are available. Book and those tours, yeah. If you want to book <laughs> up ahead, you can book with Planet Cruise as well. The scenery is just breathtaking. This is something I've got to do. Where are we going next after Norway? Well, this is, is breathtaking scenery. This is the fjords. This is why you go to Norway. Um, bear in mind, obviously, in the winter, all the fjords are completely covered in ice and snow. Look at <gasps> oh, that. Oh, wow. That is Incre we're sailing through these areas. And when you sail down through here, you'll have lots of different commentary from the bridge. You can see some of the waterfalls. Oh, yes. In a second, we're going to actually show you a couple of the most famous ones, which is the Seven Sisters, and there's also uh, there's the, uh, the Bridal Veil waterfall as well. Um, we're talking 2,000 feet, and there's water just coming off the glaciers, coming off of the snow, uh, down into the fjord. So you can imagine that the water is crystal clear. The air is just unbelievably oh. fresh. Um, and just imagine, I mean, you can see the size of that cruise ship there. We're talking thousands of tons, and it looks like a tiny little speck in that wonderful, um, and, and just look at that, you know, just a wonderful setting. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the price. We're in a five star, on a five star cruise, yep. the most beautiful scenery from £479 per person. This is a, a crazy deal. Yeah, Granger Fjord is one of those places that when you actually do dock, you can go off and do tours and excursions. If you get close to any of the glaciers, um, it's just fantastic. Or you can just walk around the small little towns. Now, bear, bear in mind, they are small because this is the summer resorts for the Norwegians. This right. is where they go when the weather's good. So you're going in there at the best time of the year. Where are we going next? Uh, we're going into Allison. Now, this is architecture. It's just a beautiful city port. Um, very Art Nouveau because, of course, a lot of the buildings were built at the turn of the century. Um, it was a popular place with the Victorians as well. In fact, the next port when we go to Hardangerfjord as well was really, really popular. Um, but here, this is one of the biggest and most important ports for seafood. Um, and this is where they've got one of the uh, Norwegian specialities, which is dried cod. Um, oh, yes. This is the biggest port in the world for that delicacy. Fabulous, which is absolutely gorgeous. Just stunning, stunning places. And we've got more fabulous scenery on yeah, the way. Yeah, we're on to day six. This is your last port and your last fjord cruise. Remember, you're going into uh, Eid Fjord and then cruising the Hardanger Fjord, which is, is known as one of the most beautiful, fj uh, beautiful fjords in the world. If you've done parts of South America, you'll know that there's some pretty amazing glaciers down there, uh, parts of Alaska, but this is something else. Remember, you're talking troll country, uh, and called Edvard Grieg. We, I, I didn't even mention that in Bergen. Um, usually, when you go up to, uh, to Norway, there's always a classical theme, or there's some sort of tribute um, to the classical musician, Edvard Grieg, um, and it, it's just wonderful. Going through there, the classical music, it's just stunning. It is, it's jaw dropping. I'm, the pictures, I'm just like, oh my goodness. It, you've just, it's, you've got to do it. And why would you not do it at these amazing prices? You're sailing then back to Harwich. So any shopping that you've got, it doesn't yeah. matter. Don't worry about the weight on the plane. There is no plane. And the ship itself, I love this sort of size of ship. Yeah, really good size ship, fantastic decor. Again, it's got that, uh, that Dutch sort of feel, uh, a sort of a tip of the hat towards the, the past of the actual cruise line itself. But get this while it's still available. It's yes. been a bestseller for Planet Cruise. This is the reason why we're starting off with this one today. Uh, get it while cabins are still available. It will be very much as, as much as you know as long as they last. At Sixty-nine pounds per person per night. That is absolutely crazy. Beautiful, stunning. And let's have a look at what is included in that price. Because I remember these are exclusive reduced rates for us. You've got a really great single price as well and I mean better than half price saving off the regular brochure price make sure you jot that ID number down you need that on the phones or if you're searching on the website it's 81638 and that is five star to the Norwegian fjords and have a look at the prices because they are they are quite unbelievable they are incredible prices and um, better than half price and you have got some really good single deals there as well and look at the suite 
for 959. That's the, that's the thing, you know, 479 gets suite. you on board that ship, but a suite, you wouldn't get a balcony on some cruise lines for that. And again, for that type of cruise in oh, August wow. and September, it's not that far away. And remember, exclusive reduced rates, so you do need to book that through Planet Cruise. And of course, that's so easy to do on the phones or on the website, but do grab that. I know that one is going to be so busy. It's very much while those cabins are available. But moving on, because where are we going next? We're going to Thompson Cruises. And I know these are cruise ships that we all fall in love with, that you go back to time and time again. I really want you to go on this cruise because it is going to be fabulous. I know someone that has been on board, and it's Keith, and he's going to tell us all about it. With its uniquely British product, small, intimate ships, a great range of cruise and stay options, all tips included, an unrivaled number of regional airports you can fly from, plus a generous baggage allowance, it's little wonder that Thompson Cruises is turning heads. They boast one of the highest levels of repeat passengers in the industry, and after six years working for them, I can tell you why. They are without doubt the friendliest ships afloat. Some friends of mine who cruise a lot always pack two sizes of clothing. One for the start of the cruise, thank you, and one for the end. And once you've tasted the food on board, you'll understand why. It's international cuisine with a British twist. And with open sitting as standard, you won't need to rush trying to keep to the ship schedule. You can set the pace and enjoy up to seven meals a day. Trust me, it's possible. Whether it's a freshly pulled pint in a nightclub or sipping a cocktail of a day poolside, each of the bars on board Thompson ships enjoys a unique and special personality. With honest low prices, juggling waiters and service with a smile, you're never more than two minutes walk away from a refreshing aperitif. The Thompson Cruises has some of the best entertainment afloat. In a two-week cruise, you'll see no fewer than ten full production shows and some great comedy from award-winning UK guest artists. Add to that fantastic interactive game shows, cabarets and all singing or dancing deck parties and you really won't want to go back to your cabin. There is lots and lots of choice with the accommodation on board Thompson ships, from insides through to stunning suites. All are en suite, offer 24 hour room service and two turn downs a day. The only surprise you're going to encounter is what your hand towel will be transformed into when you return every night. My favourite was always the monkey with the sunglasses. Isn't he crazy? Can you imagine if you got on board and Keith was on board? There you go. But I think that sums it up. The, sort of <laughs> it like really the monkey does. in the cabin was sort of like, you know, they always do something every night. That sums up Thompson Cruises because it's more relaxed. It's more informal. It's fun. Um, you know, if, if you're looking at cruising and thinking, oh, I don't want to get all dressed up in a tuxedo, then, you know, there are the formal nights, but this is a really nice, relaxed way of cruising. It really is a fabulous way to cruise. And you will fall in love with it. And again, go back time and time again. But let's look where we are going this trip because it's going to be another super one because I can't, I'm like oh my goodness this is amazing we're starting off in Gran Canaria we've got 18 nights heading to Jamaica this is fabulous yeah I mean this is your embarkation port so obviously you're going to be getting on board fantastic sail away and you're straight into one of the smallest islands in the Canaries which is La Gomera now when I actually said to my other half she, li she used to live in Tenerife she's like wow you're going to La Gomera it is an untouched island this is you know it's not big it's not commercial and to have you know the first port um, just you know really nice and small fabulous. and uh, and quaint it's going to be fantastic you've got a nice relaxing day at sea and then you're into your last port before your transatlantic crossing which is Cape Verde now of course Cape Verde has got a, a big heavy Portuguese uh, influence so you've got lots of um, interesting in architecture and um, when we talk about Lisbon in fact we'll talk about Lisbon later on in the show there's a very famous um, tower uh, just on the uh, the quayside in Lisbon there's a replica um, in Cape oh, Verde there? as well um, great for your tours as well it's a real uh, sort, of, sort of clash of cultures that you've got here um, so really interesting uh, and of course taking on board all of the stores before your transatlantic crossing now the great thing is you go in the right way because as you go across mm -hmm. you're gaining an hour every night so we're getting younger as we're traveling no oh. <laughs> you get an hour's extra in bed um, to recover shall we say from oh, the night right. boogieing out on the deck that sounds so, good enough so we're now in Barbados this I love this place right Southampton is obviously big for the cruise industry but Barbados if, if, if anybody's worked in the cruise industry you know that it's like really really big 
it's fantastic. You've got all of these great beaches there. Um, of course, if you want to go for the sort of really expensive, you can go to Sandy Lane, um, where all the celebs and all the stars usually go. Um, there's fantastic bars and restaurants in the town. There's a great place for English breakfast in Barbados. Um, and the, uh, the produce that they've got as well. If you walk out the cruise port, you can get a taxi, walk down, you'll see some of the locals, you'll get the flavour, and go to the boatyard. It's the best beach bar in Barbados. I've been there, absolutely love it. Moving on, oh, this is just heaven. St. Lucia. St. Lucia is fantastic. You're actually oh. going to be calling to Castries, which is the main town. Uh, there's a great little cruise port there for all your duty free. Uh, but get out. There's some good beaches. Uh, Pigeon Point, if you go out to the north of the island, is really good. Marigot Bay is another good one. There's a fantastic resort there. These are the Pitons, which is uh, sort of St. Lucia is famous for. And of course, famous for Piton beer as well. When you go there, oh, you've right. got to have a Piton beer. Um, it's just one of those great. It's a lush island, it's a tropical island. But if you do get any rain while you're there, within about five minutes, it's steaming. It's beautifully dry. <laughs> Here's Marigot Bay. That's where they filmed the, uh, the original Doctor D little film. Oh, right. Fabulous. And where are we moving on to next? We're going to into Grenada. Now, this is your spice island. This is where you get all of your wonderful uh, Caribbean spices. All I would say is if you do get some of the local jerk chicken, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. We I've like it hot. Get a little water taxi from the uh, the main port of St George's around to Grand Anne's Beach. Right. Uh, it's about seven miles of pure, beautiful beach. Loads of uh, hotels on the beach there that you can go and use the amenities. And just one of those really nice water sport islands. So we've got a relaxing day at sea so you can enjoy, enjoy I should say, the Thompson yeah. ship. But there we go. Going to where next? Curacao. This is the ABC Islands down at the south of the Caribbean. I love Curacao. Again, the, the buildings are so, so colourful. When you actually dock, oh, it's quite gosh. windy. Yeah. Um, oh, that's so pretty. Before the Queen Emma Bridge, um, you've actually got this little cruise terminal and there's some right. little bars and uh, little duty-free stores. And there's a parrot. I don't know whether he's still there. I hope he's still there. Called Coco the Parrot. Uh, and he's just on the edge of the bar. Don't be surprised if he jumps onto your arm. Oh, Is it, if you've got a peanut, you'll have it. Um, <laughs> now, Curacao is great for your shopping as well. And there's one little place you've got to, got to go to um, called Governor Grill. Really fantastic food there if you want to have something Fabulous. light in town. Um, then we're on from Curacao to Aruba. Again, ABC Islands. Now, Aruba... Um, is fantastic for your beaches. The actual main port itself, you, you dock, you walk into the main town, some great restaurants there. There's, a, in particular note, Steak on a Stone. It's on the first oh, floor yes. um, overlooking. You get these little bibs, because you can imagine the food goes everywhere, and it looks like little life jackets. So it's quite Brilliant. funny being on a cruise ship and then having this sort of life jacket bib. Um, just great food. And also, there's a, there's a beach there. Um, you might have seen it on YouTube, where you see the, uh, the planes flying. Oh, yes! Uh, this is Aruba. I think it's called Eagle Beach. Oh, yes, uh, I have seen really that. Low. It actually pulls you out of the water. It's, mm. they, it really flies in over your head. And then we've got another amazing relaxing day at sea and heading for Jamaica. Hey, this, this is the this Caribbean. This is an amazing yeah. cruise. Um, all I'd say Look here is water. if you love your reggae music, you've got to do the pilgrimage uh, and go on the Bob Marley tour. You, you can get a local guide or you can book it in advance, but you can do that. Uh, of course, both of these days, because you're going to be in Falmouth and then in Montego Bay as well when you disembark. Um, go to Dun Rivers Falls uh, because it's the wonderful waterfalls that you can actually walk up. Um, it's just fantastic in Jamaica. Everything's easy, man. And then you finish off in Montego Bay and yep. then you head home after the most amazing time. It's an incredible ship, incredible places, and you've got so much included with this. We actually don't want to come away from the slides because that it is so pretty, but we do because time is running short. Have a look at the price. Have a look at what you actually have. You've got 17 nights on board. You fly back overnight on that last night. You've got your return flights, but always ask about other flights. They can be provided, and if they can be provided, Planet Cruise will sort those out for you. Great single price. And also, when you work it out, this works out under £62 per person per night. And beginning of December, it's going to be absolutely incredible. What a special mo month. Write down the ID number. It's 88193. And check out all the prices, because we have got prices there for your London Gatwick and also for Manchester so you can see the difference whichever one is going to be right for you and again jot down the number for Planet Cruise and of course the actual website because I don't want you to miss out on any of these cruises but we've got to move on we've got to move on because we're on to a very exciting 
cruise. This is a river cruise. We've been so excited to be able to bring you these incredible cruises and also a fabulous guest as well because we've got Jessica with us again. Jessica, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too, Hayley. So excited about this because, again, a beautiful itinerary, mm. beautiful ships. Tell us a little bit about, for anyone at home that doesn't know about APT. Um, so we're at APT and we offer five-star luxury, fully inclusive river cruising um, throughout Europe and to more exotic destinations throughout the rest of the world as well. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about about our magnificent Europe itinerary, which is just spectacular. We've been operating river cruises for the last 15 years. Um, we're a family-owned company with 88 years worth of touring and river cruising experience, and we've got 98% customer satisfaction rating. So you are in very safe hands. Very safe hands, and something so special, isn't it? Very, very special, something very different. Here you can see uh, the main lounge area where clients can, where you can relax. You always have a warm welcome from the friendly crew on board. And with 168 guests on board, it's a fantastic, intimate cruising Absolutely. experience. Um, you can relax on your balcony uh, while enjoying the butler service or maybe chill out on the sun deck um, in the swimming pool with a cocktail from our Swim Up Pool Bar. Wonderful. The suites are excellently designed uh, with plenty of space, lovely ensuite facilities. Some cabins also have bathtubs. All of your meals are included and you've seen some footage there of the restaurants in the bar area. All drinks are included too on your APT River Cruise, so you really don't have anything extra to pay for. Here we've got our Chef's Table restaurant, um, which is a fantastic dining experience for only 28 guests. You dine there at least once on Gosh. your cruise and there's no extra to pay for any of this. Cruising along the Danube and seeing the beautiful sights of Budapest will just be amazing. In board your suite, we've got complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the ship. Wonderful. We've also got uh, films which you can watch should you wish to retire to your suite one evening. Um, and have an afternoon. It's lovely to relax on your uh, balcony with a cup of tea or a glass of wine and just watch the beautiful scenery pass you by. It really will be unforgettable luxury. It's something so, so special. And you are wonderful as well with your trips, aren't you? We are. That is one of the things that we pride ourselves on is the excursions in which we offer. So we offer freedom of choice touring. Right. And this is where you can choose which excursion you do in a particular location. So on the magnificent Europe itinerary, which I'm going to speak about, there is eight days where you can choose which excursion you do. So, for example, you're in Amsterdam. You could go to Anne Frank's house um, and learn about where Anne Frank lived during the war. Uh, you could do a fantastic uh, canal boat cruise, or you could head out to the Dutch countryside and um, learn about clog making and, and cheese making. Wow, and the choice is yours. Yep, and it's and all that's included mm -hmm. in the package. And I'll just tell you now, the first 10 bookings, there's actually a little bit of a prize here because we have a Fort Mason hamper. Definitely. Oh my word. Exactly. So, so many reasons. But let's see where we're going. So many reasons to book this. This is going to be beautiful. It, it is a once in a lifetime trip, starting um, in Budapest, uh, cruising along the Danube. Um, we'll do a city tour in Budapest Lovely. and uh, we will be treated uh, to a private music recital at the Hungarian State Opera House. So not only will you get Gosh. to explore this fantastic city, you will also get this um, amazing exclusive experience with APT. And um, where do we move on to next? From Budapest we'll head on to Vienna. So uh, the capital of Austria, an Beautiful. amazing city with, with so much to offer. Here uh, of course we'll have a city tour. You have freedom of choice touring options that day so you choose which excursion you do and we also have an exclusive experience there as well. We will go uh, to the City Palace and have a private music recital which features members of the Mozart Boys Choir. You will not get that with this anyone really else. This really is a once it, in a lifetime. We overnight there. We do which overnight. Which is wonderful. Yeah, you need lots of time in Vienna, so that's what so we will give you. So you've given us that. Definitely given you And then where that. are we heading off to next? Um, so from Vienna, we'll head to Dürrenstein. Um, you will have time there, again, to explore. Maybe take out one of the bikes. Uh, we've got bicycles on board, so... Fabulous. Should you wish to explore on your own, maybe burn a few calories, um, you most certainly can Love do that, that as well. That's going to be fabulous and such a pretty country as well. So beautiful. And, and where do we move on to next? Um, from there we'll head, head to uh, Linz um, and what we do here is we have a uh, fantastic trip to Salzburg. 
again, which is um, an exclusive experience to APT. We head up to this beautiful city, um, of course, the home of the sound of music. I was just going to say it is, isn't it? Yep. You've got to go to the hill then, for sure. You most certainly do. But what we do is we go there in style and luxury. We travel on the Majestic Imperata, which is a stunning, decadent train. Oh, wow. Every carriage is decorated slightly differently. You'll have morning and afternoon tea on board the train, and then, of course, you'll be able to go and experience uh, Salzburg and the sound of music. And this is all included? All included in the cost. <laughs> okay. All included. I'm loving this. Where next? Uh, so th from there we will head to Rainersburg. So it's a beautiful medieval city um, which you can of course do a fantastic walking tour in. Um, you'll have some time to enjoy this city um, either as one of the tours or on your own and of course like I mentioned earlier, you can use one of the fantastic bicycles. We are seeing so much. We've still got so many more places. We still, we're only on day eight. My word. <laughs> Where uh, next? So from there, um, Nuremberg. Um, so of course we'll have the opportunity to visit some of the World War II heritage sites, um, which will be a fascinating and educational experience for you. Absolutely. Um, and then you have more freedom of choice touring. So this is giving you the opportunities to tailor make your holiday and do the things that you would like to do. All included, you choose which trip you want to go on to. So Bamberg next. Bamberg is next. Now what you can do here is you can perhaps um, delight in some of the local beverages. <laughs> With 300 breweries here, Brilliant. why not enjoy a beer or two? That would be a Fabulous. Again, beautiful, beautiful buildings. Stunning architecture. A great way of, of seeing and learning about um, lots of historical sites Absolutely. and stunning buildings. So many different places because we're moving on again the next day. Yeah, we're going to um, Wolfsburg, which, um, excuse my pronunciation, my German's not that strong. Um, but here again, we will have. Oh, we've missed, missed Kitson. Oh, have we missed Kitson? Well, yeah. But we're going there first. We're going there there's first. So, there's so many. There's just so it's many cities to, to visit along um, on this itinerary. Uh, so again, in every port that we go to, you'll have options to do uh, sightseeing, touring, uh, and of course walking tours on your own and guided walking tours. We use local guides throughout as well, so you'll have local people showing you their hometowns, cities and countries. So where about are we now? Words, words, Wur Berg, words, 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 words. Thanks, Justin. We, we, we got there. We got there in the end. So There's many places. So, there is so many places. So many I'm places. having to keep my finger on the line because I'm like, I don't know where. Where do we go? Yeah, so much and included. every day you will wake up in a different city with different sights um, and things to see, and you'll also um, enjoy lots of amazing local dining throughout the trip as well. So when we're in Würzburg, you'll have the option to um, visit some of the Gothic churches and some of the uh, modern architecture there as well. So another fantastic day through this medieval city. And then we've got Rudersheim. Rudersheim, personal favourite of mine, a great place to go and enjoy some fantastic wine tasting. Oh, sounds good. We're now on the Rhine. Uh, the Rhine scenery is absolutely spectacular. Rudersheim is such a beautiful little uh, village town. Um, we can go to the magnificent Musical Instrument Museum, uh, perhaps enjoy a gondola ride over the grapevines and of course sample some of the beautiful wines that are there to be offered. Oh my word, and there is still more. There's still more. So um, day 13 we're in Bonn, so we'll have the option to visit the botanical gardens there. Um, also here what we do is we visit um, Neymandy Castle, which right. is the home of Princess Heidi van Hohenzollern. She is the godmother of one of our ships and she oh. opens her home to us. Oh and wow! You can go there, enjoy a fabulous banquet dinner, get the opportunity to explore the grounds um, and of course uh, while you're in Bone, you'll see the fantastic cathedral that's in Cologne and maybe sample some chocolate from there as well. Oh my goodness and then it's still not the end because we've then got an overnight in Amsterdam. Yes, so we finish off to finish in, the holiday. Yeah, finish off in the marvel of Amsterdam. The beauty with river cruising is we dock in the hearts of the towns, yes. villages and cities. So where we dock in Amsterdam you can literally walk into Dam Square, you're in, right in the heart of the city and as I mentioned earlier you've got freedom of choice touring so you can choose which excursions you do. Um, and we will also have our farewell dinner there, which is a, a gala dinner, um, a fantastic experience. Meet the captain and the crew and you'll have the opportunity to thank them for your amazing holiday. Oh, Jessica, this sounds amazing. They've just said, let's tell them what's included. I don't think we can have one page with what's included. <laughs> no, there's, we so, can't. there's so much included in this. But let's have a look at what is included because, wow, we have got... I mean, so, so much more. Everything is included. Everything is included, from tipping and gratuity to all of your beverages to bottled water, um, all your excursions. 
It's amazing. Check your flights out. Just remember those first 10 bookings yeah. of course. are going to get that hamper, which is incredible. The itinerary is, uh, is incredible. It may slightly change, but you will get to say, see all those fabulous mm -hmm. places. And of course, choose your excursions. Exactly. When you're in these wonderful places, and you do do some amazing excursions. We do. Jessica, do. thank you so much. It's always an absolute pleasure. I could have listened to you forever. I'm, oh, you're virtually you. on the, I'm virtually on that boat. <laughs> it's like, I'm there. It's I'm heaven. There. So big, big thank you to Jessica. Let's have a look at the prices. This is a once in a lifetime. It really is. Remember, you've got those excursions included, and you choose where you're going. You've got the most beautiful food and you are always docking in the most incredible right in the hearts of all those beautiful cities we really have got all little villages there's so much included and only deposit only actually is all you need so jot down the actual apt so when you're on the phones we haven't got a number for this as such but you can of course just mention the cruise and they will find that for you which is amazing but we need to move on we've got now cruise and maritime so again we've got another great cruise i've just glanced down and i see half price i see and um, uh, it's one of those prices i said earlier why wouldn't you why wouldn't you perhaps you perhaps you've never cruised before and you you've thought of perhaps trying cruising why would you not take this option Let, let's have a little look at the actual brand the ship itself and cruise and maritime i mean again this is going to be special, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Cruise and Maritime is one of the, the sort of newest um, uh, cruise lines out of the UK, uh, but they use fantastic uh, classic cruise ships. Right. Um, so you've got that real sense of that, that history behind cruising. So it's a really nice, small, intimate ship. Lovely. Um, but for me, it's the deal that you've got here. Three nights, Christmas markets. Where we were just was talking about Germany. Markets. I spent three years doing the Christmas markets Did back you? to back over there. They're fantastic. I bet. It's just such a, you know, a, a pretty, beautiful, romantic time to go. And this, you know, remember, you're, you're cruising across from Tilbury. So, again, no flying. No. You can bring back bring all of those goodies as, as you well. like. Yes. And, you know, look, look at the dates that you go in, the 13th and the 16th of December. Brilliant. You can go, and yeah, every year you get the same um, sock set, so you get the same uh, body wash and aftershave. <laughs> We'll actually go over and go, you know what, we should buy these, these authentic Christmas market gifts and bring them back. Be something different. And again, if you're sick of Christmas, I know that sounds terrible, but you know, perhaps if you're going, you know what, we want something different this year. That's let's it. get away. Let's not worry about the arguments of who's going to go where and what we're going to have on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Let's just get away and do something different at Christmas. And it's going to get you in that Christmas mood. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. This is something I've always fancied doing and you've got I put wow by this deposit only is under 57 pounds per person per night it's 180 pounds off the brochure price which is already a really good price and we're shopping we're not flying so that's great we can shop as much as we like but where are we starting where are we sailing from leaving from Tilbury so you've got a fantastic sail out of right. London and then across the channel uh, and into Amsterdam now the great thing about this is yep yeah, we, we touched briefly on Amsterdam with some of the tours that APT were offering this is your chance you can book a tour through Planet Cruise you can do your own thing of course there's plenty of window shopping right. to do there I think we'll leave it there and the cafe <laughs> culture is massive um, so, you know, the coffee houses are great. Go on a little river cruise around Amsterdam. One of the weirdest things that I've ever seen in all of my travels um, was a multi-storey bicycle park. A multi-storey yeah. bicycle park? A multi-storey, obviously bikes it is everywhere in Amsterdam. Oh, um, of good. course, you've got windmills and tulips it is and so the clogs. Pretty, isn't it? Go to the Delft Museum. You can go see Anne Frank's house. You can go to Van Gogh's house, Rembrandt's. Um, it's so just so much, much to do. Yeah, so so much. And then we move on to. And don't forget the Christmas markets as oh, well. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> That's why we're going the Christmas markets as well, Justin. And when we've seen the Christmas market. Where are we moving on to? We're going to go on to Antwerp. Now, of course, again, this is a great part of, of the, uh, the world. So many different places you could go to. I mean, go around Antwerp itself. Um, the Christmas markets there will be amazing. All of these um, uh, sort of plazas and town squares are just transformed into wooden huts. And there's all of the, the Christmas smells, the really, cinnamon, oh, yes. the mulled oh, wine, heaven, um, the wonderful sort of like sort of bratwurst and bratwurst. I know this is obviously Antwerp, but great Christmas traditions uh, and all the traditional wooden toys. Um, and all the yes. produce as well. I mean, oh, some of the pastries that you get there, 
coated in cinnamon and sugar just are amazing. Um, so go around Antwerp, you can go to Bruges as well, which is fantastic for your chocolates. And then we're and heading then back, you're to sailing back to Tilbury. Yeah. Now upstairs they're saying we need to book this for our Christmas party. I mean, this is such a good price. It could be something special for Christmas with the whole of the family. Have a look at prices. I mean, the prices are absolutely crazy. See what's included. It is a half price offer. In incredible reductions. You've got the Christmas market. It's going to get you into that Christmas mood. And of course, you've got the three nights on board. It's a, a brand new adult only ship as well. So making it really, really special. And the ID number for that. So if you are phoning to ask about this one, it's 875 Six, eight. That is going to disappear because why would you not for £169 per person? Why would you not book that cruise? I'm, I'm ringing my mum when we finish. Now we've moved on. <laughs> Moving on to number five and this is, this is Cunard. This is Queen Victoria. My partner actually took this ship out when it, it first went out on its first sail from Southampton. You are going to have such a fabulous time. Let's go on board. Keith's on board and he's going to show us how fabulous the Queen Victoria is. Cunard is synonymous with elegance, luxury and its renowned White Star service, which for years has set the standards that everybody else has been wanting to reach. With over 170 years of experience, they have one of the oldest histories but the youngest fleets and their three beautiful ships are truly as spectacular as the destinations they visit. Sailing with Cunard, even arriving at dinner is an occasion worth savouring. With menus expertly created by master chefs, all the food is freshly prepared, perfectly seasoned and beautifully served. Whether it's a light and fluffy scone in the Queen's Room, pasta straight from the pan, or a seven-course banquet in the Britannia restaurant. Cruising with Cunard is always exciting, as you never ever know who you're going to meet. You might spot some familiar faces, including writers, actors, filmmakers, politicians, explorers, scientists, historians, and even the occasional astronaut. And likely as not, it's because they've been invited to entertain you as part of the fabulous Cunard Insights Lecture Program. You can relax in the famous Golden Lion pub where draft beers and butchy classics like fish and chips will make you feel right at home. Later, maybe you'll try cognac in the cigar bar Churchill's or sip some Prito bubbles. My choice though, definitely be here in the Commodore Club. Great views, superb live music and the legendary expertise of Cunard's martini mixologists. With cocktail parties, West End style theatre shows, comedians and musical stars from both sides of the pond. Dance hosts will waltz you around the dance floor in one of the magical themed balls. Or you can simply watch a match in the pub. But my favourite thing is the sheer amount of live music all around the ship. With party bands, jazz bands, full orchestras, pianists and even a harpist. It really is a music lover's heaven. From comfortable inside staterooms to lavish Queen's Grill duplexes complete with expansive balconies and private butlers, there really is something to suit every taste and budget. But whatever you choose, you're going to enjoy a spacious and luxurious home away from home, full of those little touches that make all the difference. Wrap yourself up in a soft bathrobe, ease into your slippers, order something truly delicious from the free 24-hour room service, and then settle down to a good film. Perfect. And it's no fly, which means, which is the perfect start, we're sailing out of Southampton. Yeah, and you don't have Queen to wear the bathrobe all the time. It's just optional. No. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting to see his little monkey, and if you missed the earlier oh. part of the show, you won't quite understand that, but it was a monkey towel that he had yes, earlier on. Yes, exactly. <laughs> anyway, swiftly moving on, we're leaving from Southampton. Um, we're sailing out from Southampton is always fantastic. They always have a good sail away party. And it we're going so into special. one of the best Andalusian uh, ports in Spain, which is La Coruña. Uh, and of course there's some fantastic history surrounding the place, of course the Romans were in there originally. There's still actually the lighthouse, which is the Torre de Hercules, uh, which dates back 2,000 years. Um, and uh, just is a fantastic thing to see. And of course if you want to go on your pilgrimage to see St. James the Apostle, you can go to Santiago de Compostela. Um, so uh, great little place. Good fish markets here as well. Wonderful. Um, got a lovely relaxing day at sea. Well, you've and got to then, enjoy the ship. Five I was going to say, mm. this is one of the things with Cunard, they've got 175 years of cruise experience. 
Um, their ships are superb. You know, and this is coming from somebody. I spent six years of P&O. We used to look across at Cunard ships like the Queen Mary 2. And of course, when Queen Victoria was being built, we were actually in the same shipyard when it was being built. Um, their ships are just superb. They it really are. Classic cruising, the wood panelling. It's very, very British, but with an American twist, of course, because you've got that transatlantic history. You're going to love it, and you're going to sail over, first of all, to where? Um, well, you're going to be going to Cadiz. Uh, you're going to be going to Seville. So, of course, this is sherry country. You can go to some of the great um, um, uh, wineries uh, and vineyards oh, around right. there. Um, also, Cadiz has got a fantastic old town as well. You've got to go. It's quite an industrial port. When you walk into Cadiz, though, um, there's some great tour buses that you can do open top tours, right. which are all in different languages. Um, and it's just one of those great times. Just make sure you hit it at the right time, because, uh, of course, siesta time, everything shuts. Oh, fabulous, everybody. <laughs> so, a uh, little handy tip there. Then you're going to go into Malaga. This is tapas and shopping. You've got the Cathedral of Seville here as well. Um, you've also got the Royal Andalusian uh, Equestrian Art School as well, where you get all the dancing. Yeah. Um, uh, horses, horses yeah. uh, you've got that there, you've got the fantastic bull ring as well. Um, there's so much to do in Malaga, but mainly it's shopping. <laughs> that all sounds good to me. Um, oh wow, what's that? That's that is beautiful, isn't it? Fabulous. Oh, my so there's word. so much to do sometimes, even if you go in there for the, for the day, you don't get to see all of these things. No. Sometimes it's really good It'll to be book a place a tour. you could go back time yeah. time again oh, yeah. yeah and book, book, a, a, tour. book a weekend and at least while you're yeah. there for that time they can take you and show you those certain things that are so special and book that through planet cruise as well sort those tours out before you go out there where are we moving on to next going into tangiers and this is brilliant i i, I never got chance to go in there um, just looking at this and researching it, I mean, the amount of films that have been uh, shot here as oh, well. Oh, really? Um, you've got so many different uh, influences. You've got to go to the Casbah Museum. Cue the clash, rock the Casbah. Uh -huh. You've got to go there because it's the Sultan's Palace. You've got this wonderful, um, the Grand Soco, which is, of course, the, the massive market there as well. So you can imagine all the sounds, yes. uh, all the snake charmers, um, oh, all the taste, oh. all the spices. Yes. Um, it's, just, it's just that taste of Morocco that you've got to go to. Uh, and do you know, for, for especially now, if you don't feel comfortable going to a place for a, a complete week as a holiday, on a cruise, yeah. what better way? You turn mm. up for the day, go in, go out. It's just great. And on oh, what a great ship. A absolutely. To go to these ports and on Queen Victoria as well. And look at that. You've price. got your own amazing hotel. And we end in Lisbon, well, then we sail back to Southampton, don't we? Yeah, so Lisbon well, is our Lisbon. Next I could go on and on about Lisbon. We were just talking about happy memories of some of the cabaret artists that we saw in yes. Walker there. Lisbon's great for shopping, um, but you've got the 25th of April Bridge. This is where you dock. Um, and down the main quayside, you've got the, um, the Monument to the Discoveries, which is all the uh, Portuguese explorers um, who then went out and discovered all, all of the different parts of uh, the world. You've also got the uh, Torre de Belém, which is the Belém Tower. Um, you know what we said about Cape Verde? Yes. And there was the, the, yes. the, um, the, the actual tower there. This is the one. I don't know where we'll see it. You've got to go on a tram ride as well um, in, uh, in Lisbon. And you've got to have chicken and chips and rosé as well. <laughs> you have to. It just says it's, it's the law. There you go. There's the Belém <laughs> Tower. Um, that is, it's just a beautiful place to go to. Um, you can actually walk from the, the 25th of April Bridge. There's the Christ the Redeemer or Christ the King statue yes. opposite there past the uh, Monument Discoveries and then down to the Belen Tower as well. So if you Fabulous. do like walking, it's all within easy reach distance. This is an incredible cruise. We've got two relaxing days at sea on board that beautiful five-star Queen Victoria back to Southampton. What an amazing cruise. Let's see what's included because you have got so, so much. And of course, do, like it says there, start your holiday a day early, add on that night in the Marriott. It's such a good deal. For £75, you'll mm. actually get your parking and you'll get the transfers to and from. Think so about how much your parking is yeah. going to cost That's you. It. And, you know, the fact that you get the transfers, that is definitely worth adding on, especially if you're travelling for perhaps up north. Um, and making a, a little bit of journey down to Southampton, perfect. then it's the perfect way to start Huge it. Huge savings. You've got really good single prices as well. On that, that lead date, it works out under £79 per person. It is a, a fabulous, fabulous cruise. And don't forget the ID number. It's 79192. But we're moving on now to Princess Cruises, another one of my absolute favourites. My partner worked for Princess for many, many years with top agent, actually, Planet Cruise for Princess, which is always wonderful and this is the dawn princess this is i want to go yeah this is going to sydney and that's exactly where we're going to go now this is going to be 
amazing. Yeah, and I've just put, I love this. <laughs> well, you, you saw the Opera House there. That's actually where you dock. You've got the no. Opera House, which is right opposite the uh, the Sydney Bridge, which yes. is known locally as the Rusty Hangar. You can actually climb the Sydney Bridge, and uh, all the harnesses that were used on the Sydney Bridge, or are used on the Sydney Bridge, are all manufactured in Wiltshire, here in the UK. How funny is I that? only found out that fact when I was on the top of the Sydney Bridge, How and they told funny. us where it was built. Anyway, you're going to be there in Sydney. You can go out to see the Blue Mountains. It is one of the cleanest cities I've ever, ever come across. Um, the money, the currency over there, is amazing. It's waterproof. You can actually keep it in your shorts and go to the beach, take it out, and it's still good. So there's all the Blue Mountains around there. Shopping's fantastic in Sydney as well. And if you want to go and cuddle a koala, you can do. Uh, just oh. opposite Sydney Harbour, there's a fantastic um, zoo that you can go over and see all the, the, the local animals. You know, go and see your koalas, go and see your kangaroos. Oh, oh Jess, Jess isn't in here, is she? No, she would have said that was a terrible impression. <laughs> terrible Now accent, you've got yeah. a two-night stay here to start your mm. holiday which is going to be fabulous in a four-star hotel and then you actually get on board this is going to be oh this again is a once in a lifetime i know john's on board he's going to show us around and then you wait till we tell you where else you'll be visiting princess cruises first set sail in 1965 with a single ship cruising to mexico today the line has grown to become the third largest cruise line in the world Princess is known for being a bit of an industry innovator because over the years they've introduced so many new features and experiences on board their ships that have been so popular, other cruise lines are now copying them. Among them are affordable balconies on many of the ship's outside cabins, as well as 24-hour dining and a choice of dining venues and flexible dining times. Princess ships also debuted features such as Movies Under the Stars and the Sanctuary Adults Only Oasis. In the fitness centre, you'll find all the latest equipment, plus a range of classes including cycling, pilates, yoga, stretch and abs. But if chilling out and being pampered is more your thing, then you might want to head up here, to the tranquil environment of the Lotus Spa. With a menu of dozens of calming and rejuvenating treatments, the Lotus Spa is guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your cruise. Throughout the day on your Princess Cruise, the chefs are busy preparing your next memorable meal. All bread, cakes and pastries are baked three times a day. All sauces are prepared by hand. Speciality restaurants include Sabatini's, Princess's signature Italian restaurant. The Crown Grill offers a variety of premium beef and seafood dishes. But tonight's formal night and I've decided to eat in the main restaurant. As I'm booked on any time dining, I can just turn up and eat at whatever time I like. Princess are known for their dynamic and exciting production shows with some of the largest casts at sea. Tonight we've got a 70s theme with Blame It on the Boogie. All shows are produced in-house and feature lively music and stunning choreography, featuring one of the largest casts at sea, as well as shows you can enjoy a night of stand-up comedy, a game show, a sing-song in the piano bar, a romantic dance, or just a quiet night with friends in a lounge bar something completely different. How about a movie under the stars? It's a signature feature of all princess ships and it's a great way to end the day. I love the princess ships. You've got two fabulous days on board to get used to that fabulous ship. And then where are we going to? We're going to the South Pacific's Caribbean, effectively. These islands are just oh. beautiful. You know, you've never seen as turquoise blue oceans oh. and white oh, sandy beaches. I can see the picture that's coming. It's, oh, look at that. Paradise. Yeah, that's Heaven. where you're going to go to. Oh. Uh, you're starting off in Lifu, and this is the largest of the actual uh, Lorty Islands. Um, it's actually a foralized coral reef. Um, so it just stands out because bear in mind Fiji is slowly eroding down into the sea as the oceans rise so you've got to go and see these places because they're absolutely stunning. Um, it's, it's sort of a Malaysian paradise, you've got tropical forests and then you've got uh, plantations, you've got beach snorkeling, it's just beautiful. And where are we moving on to? We're going to go into the Vanuatu Islands which is Villa, now this is cascading waterfalls, this is completely contrasting, again picture postcard perfect beaches and underwater life uh, as in snorkeling um, and diving is just fantastic, it really is one of those tranquil um, paradises 
Uh, I think there's one of the islands that's actually got a spa called Shangri-La, and you, you know, as, uh, as it suggests, it really is that sort of heavenly place. It really is. You've got a relaxing day at sea. I'm happy already, but then we're off to Fiji. Yeah, Port Denaral, and this is, of course, your national park. Uh, country. Um, you've got over 1,600 acres of sand dunes. Um, it's just absolutely st stunning. Um, the wildlife is a little bit different here. Of course, you see your fruit bats, your geckos, and 22 different species of bird as well. There's a really nice tour as well, which is the Coral Coast Railway. Uh, so if you fancy doing something a little bit more relaxed, sometimes, I know it sounds bad, but you can get a little bit too beached out. Yeah, so. Um, so if you want to do something a little bit different, wait until you get to Fiji, do the Coral Coast and Railway. And of course, you can book that as well through Planet Cruise. Where are we moving on to now? Next. Going to go to Suva. Now, this, this is where the next two days, uh, day 12 and 13, um, uh, in Suva and Suva Suvu, um, is your sort of Fijian local markets. This is where you see the tribes as well. Oh, wow. um, you can see the fire walking. Uh, I want to say you, you'll see the fire walking. You'll have to take part. Um, and uh, you see the fire walkers. Um, I know it's, it's one of those strange rituals. There's also um, a local delicacy as well um, where you're welcomed. And remember, this has got a lot of Japanese culture coming in uh, this part, you know, part of the world. Uh, you're presented with a bowl of kava or yogona. Uh, which is a, a drink to sign as a welcome of respect. So where right. Hawaii has their, uh, their Hawaiian lays and the hula hula, this, this is their sort of welcome. Oh, my word. And we're moving on. Yeah, Dravuni, you've got a, a really remote village. There's only about 200 people that live on the island. Um, you've got beaches, you've got lagoons as well. You've got fantastic reefs as well. Is it, uh, actually, off of this island uh, of Dravuni, it's the fourth largest barrier reef as well. Again, all of Fiji, you're not going to go wrong because it's just fantastic islands back to back. Four fabulous islands that you don't often, we don't often have on Planet Cruise, so real, really special. You've then got a relaxing day at sea. And where are we going to next? Last day, this is New Caledonia, you're going into Noumea, and this is the Pacific's most cosmopolitan city. This is sort of as French as you can get, quite right. sophisticated. You've got a unique mix of sort of Malaysian and European culture, uh, another great port for beaches and activities as well, as you can see. I mean, just imagine staying in one of those uh, little beach huts oh, down gosh. there. This is the place you go to chillax, relax and just enjoy. We are in paradise on a fabulous ship as well. We've got two relaxing days at sea back to Sydney. Have a look at what is included. You have got so much. When you think about just your flights out to Sydney, you've got those flights, but on top of that, you can also look into flights that are closer to home. You've got two nights in a four-star hotel included in the deal. Beautiful ship, all your meals, your snacks, and your entertainment. I, I love this cruise. And of course, jot down that ID number if this is the one for you, which is 871 Seven, seven. Some very good friends of ours work on the Dawn Princess, so you'll be well looked after. And of course, it is just a deposit only. Wow, what what a fabulous hour! Six incredibly wonderful cruises. So let's have a little recap and see what we saw. First of all, we started with Holland, America. Let's have a little look at what you've got included. And you can see here two great, great dates. You've got the Norwegian Fjords, five star. It's no fly. You've got exclusive reduced rates for us with Planet Cruise. And of course, you have got huge savings. It works out £69 per person per night. It's actually a better than half price deal because it's, mm. it's, you're saving £670 off the brochure price. And you've got some really good single prices on that as well. That's a definite must to look into before it goes. It's very much while those cabins are available. 81638. Then we've got Thompson Cruises. Once you've sailed with Thompson, you will go back down uh, time and time again. Thompson Dream. It's, again, a great price beyond the Sunset Cruise. So you're going from Gran Canaria to Jamaica and visiting some of the most beautiful places in between. Such a great price, again, under £62 two pounds per person per night and so many of my favorite places included in this it's 18 nights in total 17 nights on board and then you fly back overnight but do check your regional flights as well your number for this one is 88193 now APT this is that magnificent river cruise once in a lifetime it really is I mean if you're the, one of the first 10 bookings don't forget you have got that fabulous hamper you've got amazing included excursions and you can pick which excursions you want to take it really is a special and some really fabulous beautiful places you'll be visiting as well and remember it's deposit only 
for now, 14 nights of complete luxury. And of course, going to the sound of music. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I've got to go to the hill. Now, we're moving on. Cruise and Maritime. Now, this was our Christmas market. This was, you've just got to go. It's a half price offer. It was an incredible price before that. It's three nights. It's no fly from Tilbury. You're going to see those uh, super Christmas markets get you in the mood for Christmas. Adult only. Deposit only is needed today. £169 per person. Why would you not? It's if you haven't cruised before, a great way to try it. 87568 is your ID number. But we're moving on to Cunard, the Queen Victoria. Again, five star, ten nights of luxury. This uh, works out under £79 per person per night. Amazing value. You're saving £210 off the brochure price. We've got some really good single prices. And do add on the Marriott. Make it special. Stay the night before. You'll get parking included in that price as well. And, of course, deposit only for now. And our very last one... Planet Cruise are top agents for Princess Cruises, and this is the Dawn Prince S. This is 19 nights. It's amazing. Pacific Islands and Fiji, and from Sydney, which is just going to be out of this world. You've got two nights stay in a four-star hotel in Sydney to start off with. And if you think about just flights to Sydney, you've got so much included in this. Do check your regional airports as well. All I wrote was, wow, and it's <laughs> yeah. 87177. We all want to do that. Check out everything on the website or the w's.planetcruise.co.uk and also you can see there where you put your ID number so those numbers I've been giving you just go in there it'll take you to that Pacific cruise but of course you can jump onto the phones as well 0800 781 5458 they are so helpful and remember the wonderful thing with booking with Planet Cruise is everybody that has worked for them seems to have worked on a cruise has been on that cruise ship has visited that place which makes it so so special i've got to say a big big thank you to justin always, always a pleasure always a pleasure it's yeah. always good cruising with you it's been great cruising with you at home as well make sure you don't miss out i would say that number one cruise will disappear yeah. the holland american so don't miss out on any of those and that river cruise i was going to say i mean you know the first one with holland america it's a bestseller get it before it's gone the river cruise if Beautiful. you're all cruised out of the mediterranean and the caribbean try a river cruise Cruise. the Sydney one at the end <gasps> why not actually book an extra couple of nights at the end I know you've got a couple of nights yes, to start at the with because you mentioned about the flights how much would it cost you to fly down to that part of the world that's it. and again I have to point out that Christmas cruise that's 169 pounds per person and that's for the whole cruise there's no flights it's great. We had some beauties there, didn't we? Do check them all out on the website. Make sure you don't miss out on anything because I don't think many of these will last that long. A big thank you again. Enjoy.